Hi, it's Anne Marie at Get Cooking, and I thought I'd talk to you about pattern lunches today. It's nearly September, and we've got children going back to school, and they've got to start thinking about pattern lunches again. So, yeah, um, I, I dread it as much as you, to be honest. And <laughs> I don't know how old your children are, but mine, mine are um, well into their teens, and it seems to get harder, not easier, about what you put in their pattern lunch boxes. So, I kind of like looking back when they were little, it seems much easier. And I'll just go through a few things that they used to eat in their packed lunch boxes, and um, hopefully it might help you. And uh, I'd like to say, don't overwhelm your child um, with their packed lunch box. If you've got six, seven different things in a box, what, you know it's like, oh, what do we eat? So you'll go for the sweet thing first, unless you, you know a teacher there to say, come on, let's 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 eat the savoury first. Especially those pouches, it's hard to know what is savoury and what is sweet. They're all very highly coloured and um, so if you're going to use those, maybe just put one or two in and use some real food. A lot of children are getting disconnected with food and I think it's quite important that you put some real ingredients in there so they can touch, they can feel, they can smell them and enjoy them. So let's start with the sandwich because that's what we all grew up on, wasn't it? A sandwich, apple and a few packet of crisps, but the packets of crisps are really tiny now so um, usually a Friday treat for mine anyway. So a sandwich. This one I've cut into six. Children want to eat quickly. They want to be in the playground. They want to play with their friends. They're, they're, they're not thinking about all the different colours and you know, <laughs> on Pinterest you see these beautiful um, amazing um, packed lunch boxes. Reality is you know we put a sandwich together and, and whatever else is in the cupboard. So um, cut it into six and that just makes it so much easier. So rather than just giving them two chunks of bread and you find one bite in it, you might find if it's cut into little pieces, they'll eat more of it. Um, little ones you probably maybe only want to put three of them in. Um, there may be a whole one for if you've got hungry children or older ones. If you're not into bread, I could suggest buying one of these little um, boxes, or something similar where you can put the veg or fruit sticks in there. And then you can put soft cheese, yogurt, or hummus. Just it's just a really nice little dip tray, and it's quite you can fit quite a lot in there. And I reckon a child will probably munch through that and not realise how much they've eaten. But, you know, it's quite quite it holds quite a bit. So that's really useful. Um, I don't know. I found that you know, as they get older, they seem to like that. And um, leftovers. Okay, this doesn't look much very much, but you can easily add some more salad or veg to that. And you can then put it into these little plastic tubs, which is a bit like a mason salad jar. You can use any of the carbs, you know, try and use whole wheat if you can. And then, like I say, you can put some protein in there, some cheese or some leftover um, roast chicken and, um, and some salad and, or some vegetables. Grating them is a really nice way to do it because that's just really easy to eat. So that's really useful. If you want to, you could make a dressing. A little bit of oil, a bit of lemon juice, a bit of um, soy sauce, shake it up in there and then they can put it onto their salad. Um, pudding wise, your own yoghurt, plain yoghurt, Greek yoghurt is really good because it's got extra protein in and it makes you feel full. Um, make your own fruit purees with apples or plums or any fruit that you've got around, especially if it's um, getting a bit sad, put it in a pan, a little bit of water and then just stew it up and then give it a whiz and then you've got a nice little puree. You could freeze the puree in ice cube trays, which is just about quite a nice size for a portion. Or, you know, a couple of ice cubes worth of fruit puree, some yogurt in a little pot, really handy. And so this, this is, this particular one, I don't want to like advertise brands or anything, but this, this, this one has served Okay, it's looking, it's a bit sad now, but it's about three or four years old. But this is really good because it's got a couple of sections, it's got a useful tub, and you know, you to put your sandwiches and put your, um, your freeze block if you want, or something else on the top. It just seems, it, it seems to hold quite a lot, so if you've got, you know, if you've got a child with a big appetite, then that's, that's really useful. Other things I do is make these little pancakes. You could make any normal pancakes. These are little veggie ones made with gram flour and you just grate lots of veg and fry it off into these little fritters. Um, and you could put them with a little bit of yogurt or a dip. Very nice. Um, 
And if you don't want to use bread, like I said, um, wraps, um, they come in all sorts of shapes and sizes these days, and they've got you know, whole wheat version, seeded versions, just add a bit of variety to um, the sandwiches. So I hopefully that might have given you a few ideas. If you want to join me on my Facebook page over the next few weeks, hopefully give you some more inspiration of, of what to put in there. But what I would say is just, just don't stress too much about it. And as long as you feed your child you know, a good breakfast, and you feed them a healthy snack when they come out of school. It, you know, it, what happens in the middle? But you know, the children are quite excitable at school and they're not, not always in the mood to eat. And they, they get a bit of fresh fruit in the morning and afternoons um, as well. So, you know, try not to worry too much um, about what, what, what they're actually eating at school. It's quite a busy environment. And my, my little boy used to not like eating food if somebody had grieved over it or something like that there's other things going on besides you know why they might not want to eat it but um try and relax about what goes in the pat lunch and just keep it varied um, each day and just don't overwhelm them with too much food and that's that i think that will that'll help you um just feel a bit more comfortable about it all so hope to see you soon